Hello, this is Tiffany from Tiffany Beauty Trends, and today I have a special journey that I'm going to try to follow. I had a wonderful person named Joel A. leave me the best comment on things that I'm doing incorrectly, and I completely agree. It's like I lost my mind somewhere when I was doing my makeup. I don't know if that happens to anyone else, but he did tell me to ease up on the blush. And as far as the highlighter goes, keep it kind of more here than into my cheek. So hopefully you can see that I've got a really light highlighter there. It's um, Stila and I think it's called Kitten. So it's very, very light, even the blush is light. What you're seeing on my face right now is I have, um, I have this under my eyes, the concealer, the pearl, and I have Laura Mercier as my loose powder, and I'm using Ulta Moisturizing Fair BB Cream, and also Ultra Pat and Shine in cons or cans i don't know how to say it and <laughs> um, the place in france where everyone goes to show off their movies and their looks so my first thing is looking at my morphe 35 z maybe i should try something in the pinks and see if i can do joel proud um i'll actually start with a very light taupe and I'm going to hold my brush at a reasonable level and he said not to go so high so I'm going to actually stick to my natural crease which I hadn't been doing the last three times because I read an article about hooded um, eyelids and I believed mine to be hooded too so maybe that's not the case but what he did tell me is steer clear of the upper eye area like the under brow shouldn't be your main focus so the next color I'm gonna use will be a little bit um, with a little bit more red in it and I'm gonna stick in the same area and if I have to touch up I will because I'm really trying to make him proud by applying some better techniques and being nervous always makes the possible of overshooting your boundary and those are easy enough to clean up with just a little concealer. So on the lid, I'm going to use a very pretty light peach. And I'm not going to do a cut crease because right now I'm just trying to show beginner level talent. And I know I could put something in the outer crease to make it darker, but maybe just for Joel, I will keep it real and keep it real light. Like I'm trying not to exceed the crease by putting on this pink. And I'm going to avoid eyeliner at this point because I haven't really gotten that down in all the years I've been doing makeup. So Joel, this is my look. Um, I'm just gonna add something under the brow. I almost forgot that. Um, they do have a really nice vanilla color and I think it will complement and not detract from the work that I've done below. So we'll just kind of go real lightly and have a very patient stroke 
so we don't end up putting a lot elsewhere. Now I am going to look at this palette and see if they have what I would call like a little shine moment. And I think they do. And if I'm not incorrect, Joel, I think you kind of place it right in there or further in towards the nose. I'm not exactly sure. So if you do watch this one, uh, please tell me if I'm almost hitting gold or if that is just ridiculous. Because one's kind of in the corner and one's kind of iffy. Like it doesn't know where to go. I'll take just one more cushion of that and bring it out just a little further so it looks equal. But I know you want to have a little pop of shine. So I think I understand things, but I think I got carried away. Now, um, this is Roller, Roller Lash by Benefit. It is supposed to be the closest to false eyelashes you'll ever get. So, I'm gonna apply this lightly. Now, I did curl the lashes before I did any of the video. So, I see a little clumping. It might be due to the last look that I did. I used some primer with glue to um, tack down some glitter. And I am gonna play with some glitter again, but maybe everything just needs to be kind of reset, maybe take some time researching in between videos instead of uploading 12 in one day and getting the proper education from people like Joel. So, um, I don't know really how he was describing you do the bottom lashes. I don't know if it means just try not to touch your um, waterline at all, because I know I do. Oh, and he said if I have any amount of um, color on my brush from um, doing the upper eyelids that I could use that as a liner, which I do employ, but it's kind of hard sometimes because some people really go for that crazy liner and other people are very diminutive. And I don't know if I said that word right, but they're very delicate. You know, how they handle everything is delicate. So I'm not sure if I'm doing you proud, Joel, but I'm really trying, trying so hard to have a look that doesn't horrify you. Because I know when you see those videos, it's like, you know, it's like a record, just stop, stopping. It's like halt, you know. I don't think I have any color on my um, thing, but I'm going to take the darker nude color and place it underneath up to about here where I have that white and then take it across here and try to blend it a little with the up, upper makeup, maybe? I'm not sure if that's right. Okay, so what I've done is I took care of a little eyebrow issue. I don't think I nailed it yet, but the two are a little more even. Um, I took a lot of this away, and I don't know if that's what he meant but I still don't really have that 
real nice curve that you're looking for. I think that I did a decent job on my eyebrow or on my eye color and on the lower lids perhaps I didn't do too chunky of um, eyelashes I tried really hard and I tried hard to not make the tops too crazy um, anyway this is just dedicated to Joel to say I am in this to win this you know you saw me doing my how does it look you know and I have no clue how to move my head but that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying I want to exude this I want to one day conquer the eyebrow I want it I want it I want it and darn it it's just gonna take some hard work so Joel thank you for the lengthy and lovely comment you left me I wasn't hurt at all I was excited beyond excited so um, if you see this I hope you see it because I want you to I didn't find a website for you so you may have a different name like mine is Tiffany Beauty Trends which certainly is not my last name so anyway um if you'll leave that i'd love to join and watch if you're doing this you might just be someone in the profession i don't know but i love you anyway and i hope that i did a little bit better of a job this time so next time who will it be who will give me a tip anyone please give me a tip or idea I would love you to pieces and don't forget don't forget I'm trying to get better so subscribe and grow with me and don't forget to hit the bell because then you'll know when my tenth of the day is uploaded no actually I am gonna try to spend more time on genuine MUA um, videos just to get my techniques down so I appreciate you so much and love and everyone who watches me um, thank you for your support even in the darkest hours of my makeup and I love you. So take care and have a great day. Bye.